Hi everybody, this is Gail of September Gail here on YouTube and um, today I just decided to play in my closet since I can't get out um, try on a couple of outfits and probably 90% of them are thrifted items I just have the one item that I um, purchased from Dillard's that, I, that top that I'll be showing you uh, but yeah, just play in my closet, give me something to do while we're under the uh, stay at home order so this is it, this is my first outfit and this is a uh, this is an apartment nine top uh, with a pair of Chico's jeans, size two. And just a pair of um, loafers, brown loafers. Just a casual outfit. Okay. Okay, next I have on this Chico's, uh, sort of a bat wing top, um, size 2, and then a pair of jeggings that I've had probably 3 or 4 years. I just decided to um, do a DIY. I cut them off and then added a patch to it. Not sure if you can see that. But I had a piece of fabric and I used my famous glue that I like to use and uh, just put that, th applied it there and that's what they look like but just a casual spring outfit pockets on the back, no front pockets you could either dress this top up or down and like I said I'm simply playing in my closet today so this is what I decided to um, style it with Okay, the next item is, uh, once again, a Chico's uh, top. It could be worn either as a jacket or just a top. I, I just have my bra underneath it. Excuse me. Okay, sorry. That was my mom calling in. But anyhow, this, like I was saying, this is a uh, Chico's top, size 2. And uh, it could be worn as a jacket. I just have my bra underneath it. And a pair of uh, Levi's. I had these on in uh, another haul. And then just sporting my uh, thrifted Fifth Avenue um, bag. And all of these things were thrifted. And I have my lovable Sam Edelman flats. And this is what it looks like. And I want to give a shout out to uh, my girl, my friend, Noble Strength, Audrey, here on YouTube. If you're not following her, would you please go and do so? Um, she was asking the other day who likes to wear all white. Well, I'm one of those people. I love all white. And uh, this would just be a way that, that I do it. And like I said, I could dress this um, top up or dress it down as I did with these jeans. And these are a nice size. Um, Levi's, they're size 14. And they have a little stretch, which there's a lot of room in here. But it's okay. It fits nicely in the butt. But this is how I would style this. But while we're on, as I said earlier, we're on the uh, stay-at-home order here in Ohio. So let's play it in my closet. Okay, next is this little Express um, size extra large uh, off the shoulder. That's just how it's meant to be worn. Um, the little flap there. And it comes... Just at my knee. Nice little spring dress. Of course it was thrifted. I've had it a couple summers. And I would style it with this little bag. The little coach bag that I uh, thrifted a couple months back. I had it in one of the holes. I think it matches up perfectly. That's how that would go. Okay, next is a vintage two-piece um, set pants and top. It has the little it's double breasted, it's only the two buttons. The pants come with the pockets. And it's an extra large, but I like how they fit. So I like the little loose fitting in here. And styled it with just a pair of blue suede 
um, sandals, an Italian bag. I just love that. I love some thrifted items. Some, some thrift, uh, some vintage item rather, um, run small. So, uh, 14 would run like a 10, 12 or something like that. Um, but this is a nice fit, extra large and uh, it's navy blue with the little. I don't know what those things are in there. Look like snowflakes. I'm not sure. With the two um, gold buttons. This little canvas bag, made in Italy. I thrifted this a couple of, well, 2017. It's a beautiful bag. But anyhow, that's what this would look like. So this would be a, a nice traveling outfit. You know, if you're going on a plane, just a loose fit. And, uh, easy, something you can just slip on your sandals or whatever and go. Or you could dress it up, put on a pair of pumps. and going about your business. Okay, last item that I, um, last, um, outfit rather, is this Dillard's, um, shirt that I purchased on their 40% off, and I told you it's a 3X, and just really, but I like the loose fit of it, um, and I cannot stand, our, our Dillard's is a, um, outlet. So there were just so many clothes and I just couldn't do the whole take your time. So when I spotted the shirt, it was the colors and I thought, oh, that's beautiful. So I grabbed it and I did go to try and find my size, but then some other people came over, so I left. But anyhow, I just like it. So, uh, and you see, it could be worn up a little bit if I wanted to be a little bit more conservative or drop it, which is probably the way that I would wear, and then I just tucked it in a pair of these uh, Target jeans. They're a couple of years old. I got them on sale. Um, and then, I'll bring it back up so you can see. Just a pair of the jeggings that I got at Target. Probably paid 7 or $8 for them. And then I have my Mark by Mark Jacobs bag that I thrifted. Um, a month or so ago. And it's just a nice spring outfit. And like I said, I was just playing in my closet. And more than likely, I would probably not wear this bag with it simply because of the dark denim. And I wouldn't want to transfer um, stains. So let's see. Hold on. Okay. I could wear this um, Kate Spade with it. And this, I uh, thrifted up in Michigan. I paid, uh, I think, $14.99 for it. Just full price. And I thought it was worth it because I didn't have a Kate Spade bag. So I grabbed this one. But this is a I would definitely go with a, a darker bag because of the denim and I wouldn't want to transfer on a lighter, light colored bag. But that's it. So, thank you for hanging out with me. Today, I, as I decided to play in my closet, um, as I said, and I'm sure it's across the United States, most people are on lockdown or as our governor say, uh, we're under a stay-at-home order which is fine with me. I have all the essentials I need and um, food and what have you. And uh, took some things over to um, my mother and, and Daryl and I took some things over to my father-in-law and uh, make sure they're provided for. And let's see what else. But here today, I think it's in the like 56, 57 degrees. Um, it's just a great day. And we're gonna continue um, to support our uh, government officials, pray for them, actually not necessarily support, but pray for our government uh, officials from the top down to your locals and uh, keep them in, in prayer as well as their families. Pray that they make the right decisions at the right time 
and uh, praying for our family and our friends that they follow these orders and just common sense, you know, you want to protect yourself and you want to protect others. Um, and if you have uh, little, the little kids, you know, 10, 12 under, make sure that they're home and, and, and taken care of it. You have that teenager 16 through uh, 19 or even 20, 21 year old, you want to talk to them about how, how important it is to stay home to protect themselves as well as um, uh, others to try and keep this thing, this virus under control. Um, that's really important, but I pray that uh, all of you guys, the viewers out here, are keeping safe and, and just trust God as, as a, because He's the ultimate healer. Uh, he's the ultimate decision maker. Sorry. He's the ultimate decision maker. He knows how far this um, will go, how long. He knew long before it happened. Um, but just trust in Him, believe in Him. Uh, pray without ceasing, um, read your scriptures, stand on God's word. I, I, I am a true believer and I stand on, 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 on God's word and, and, and I know that he will take care of us. So anyhow, thanks again for your time. I don't want to keep rambling on. Thanks again for your time. Uh, but I did give a shout out to Noble Strength. Um, that's Audrey over, um, she's here on YouTube and she asked on, I think it was her last video, how many people or who likes to wear all white and like I said I am one of those people and so I did that one outfit with the um, monochromatic top and the pants but anyhow see you next time